When banded mongooses go to war, they don't just fight, they go for blood. According to some British researchers, they are among the most vicious members of the animal kingdom. Their gang fights reportedly involve up to 30 mongooses on each side. The two groups form distinct battle lines and are ferocious. And it's tantamount to gang warfare. Um, rival groups will, um, on seeing each other, will um, screech to alert their fellow group members that there's a rival group in the area. And then they'll come together and um, have these really violent clashes where um, individuals are often injured and sometimes killed as a result. The mongooses raid dens of their opponents and even kill their neighbors' pups. So it looks like these groups of mongooses are engaging in these violent fights over resources like food and territory. But also it might be a way for these groups to try to get matings with other group members. And um, we know that um, banded mongoose groups um, can become very inbred. They're normally big family groups. So um, engaging in these fights with rivals might be a way for them to obtain extra group matings and to try and reduce the level of inbreeding within their group. And we've actually observed males and females from rival groups engaging in matings while these very chaotic fights are going on. Thompsons, who works at the Centre for Ecology and Conservation at the University of Exeter Perrin campus, says that understanding intergroup conflict can help explain human behaviour. So humans are also another cooperative species. We live in social groups and we help each other with things like raising family, working together. So understanding um, how conflict arises and is resolved in things like in species like banded mongooses can also um, inform us on human social behaviour as well. The research is the latest finding of an 18-year-old study of banded mongooses in Uganda. The findings were published in the journal Animal Behaviour. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.